They say that the hunter that chases two rabbits catches neither. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna share exactly how I had a very bad phone call yesterday. Um, if we haven't met, my name is Jason Luttrell. I'm a, um, a hospitality management operations. I'm a hospitality management consultant, right? So that means that I help bars and restaurants um, systematize and scale um, using AI and automation usually. Um, so I had a really bad phone call yesterday. Uh, I was, the expectations were, were, were not the same, we're, we weren't aligned. I was calling to ask questions. They were calling They were calling to hear a pitch. They were expecting me to pitch them on a specific solution to their problem. And um, and I was not ready for that. I'm typically prepared, um, but you know, I, I fancy myself a bit of a, a bit of a technician and, um, and you can't work on the problem until you know what the problem is. So I typically show up to calls asking questions, not to pitch, um, unless it's clearly defined that, I, that I'm gonna pitch. Anyways, there was a miscommunication and the call did not go well. Um, you know, uh, I don't wanna say it was a waste of time because I did actually learn some information, but the idea was was that I was gonna help a trade guild um, with their um, with their sales and marketing for their, their brands that were members of the guild. And being having been a former USBG president um, in New York, um, I thought I might be uniquely qualified to help them. Um, and so it didn't go well. Um, you know, I, there's uh, it, di it just didn't go well. And um, and I don't think I can help them anyways, because um, the the work that I do requires participation. You have to do stuff um, to get the benefit of, of the stuff that I'm doing. Like for me to work with you individually, the cost would be so high that you that it would be ridiculous. But I can expand, I can offer way more value to a lot of people by um, having them implement my systems and processes. So that's the impact that I'm looking for in my, in my life and in my business. Um, and working for a single company probably doesn't make sense um, for the impact goals that I have. So that being said, um, it was a difficult thing to, to um, think about uh, this call. I mean, it wasn't like anger, like people throwing shit and stuff like that. It was, it was like, it was just like, what are we doing here? If you're not ready to pitch, what are you doing here? Um, and, uh, and I kind of decided that um, I cannot serve two masters. Um, I can't be working for brands. I can't be working for hospitality operators. I have to decide because if I keep on working for more than one, uh, like for for more than one cohort of people, um, I'm going to be diluting myself, and I won't be able to provide the impact that I really want to make. And keep you notice that I keep on using the word impact here. Uh, it's not about money. It's it's about it's about energy. It's about impact. It's about legacy. It's about changing the game. It's changing the business, like you know. And so. I'm gonna stick with hospitality, uh, and I and and um, and I'm very confident in saying that because um, because they need a lot of help right now. Like literally four out of five go out of business. So I'm gonna keep working with my existing clients, keep doing the custom work that I do because it's fun and I like it um, and it's creative. But in order to make the impact that I want to make, I have to stick to one um, stick to one niche. And so that is going to be hospitality operators. Um, I had another great meeting yesterday with with somebody who is um, also very much aligned with with this kind of stuff, and um, we're going to be working together. Basically, she's going to be selling my stuff, um, and so um, uh, so I kind of systematized all the um, the giveaway has been gangbusters, by the way. Um, so I've got like basically three product offerings that I'm going to be offering. Like it's a giveaway system, it's an HR system, and it's a um, secret shopper system. So. Let's talk about Secret Shopper for a second. Um, if you wanted to hire somebody to shop your business, uh, to find to like show up and um, and just fill out a survey and get paid to eat there, um, it would be in the you know several thousands of dollars. Um, but I think that there's a better way, and that better way is to um, have lots of Secret Shoppers. Keep it in the in the in the back of mind psychology of everybody that works in your bar, um, and. Um, so if everybody knows that there's going to be secret shopper that week, um, then they're going to behave differently. It's called the Hawthorne effect. Just by virtue of the fact that you're being observed, um, you change your behavior. And so to implement that psychology, you have to do it quite a bit, but to do that. And it's also the best feedback you're ever going to get. It's better than any Google review. It's better than anything else that you're ever going to get. Um, and so, but to do that now, you have to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an agency. And that is 
patently out of reach for most bars and restaurants. So what I'm trying to do is, is systematize and automate that to recruit your existing customers, like they're your super fans, and um, turn them into secret shoppers and, and incentivize them to do that, to give you like actually honest feedback and, and unbiased, honest feedback um, because they want to help. They're invested, they're emotionally invested in your success and um, and you are and they they like your product already so they um, so you can give them the tools that they need to be really nitpicky and um, tell you the things that bother them um, so we're trying to make that accessible and not for tens of thousands of dollars either but that will be part of an integrated suite of services that we offer uh, for bars and restaurants um, if you want to get on the wait list for this if you think that this is something that might be a good fit for your bar right now our target avatar is around three million dollars a year at least three years in business um, but the mission is to make my services available to um, um, uh, newer restaurants, lower um, revenue profiles. Um, so if you want to check that out, it's like, uh, if you want to get on the waitlist, it's kmsops.com slash waitlist. And um, I will let you know when um, we have these services available. So thank you very much. I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.